Hey everybody, Oko here, and welcome back to our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. So let's head towards the Yellow Beacon now. We will return to attempting that other shrine that we weren't successful at. We could make a little cart here, it looks like. But I'm more interested in getting across the river. Impossible, sure enough. I'm sorry, Mr. Customer, but I haven't got a single minute to spare now. But the stable is open, so you can ask at the counter if you need anything. Well, what I would like to do is get across the river. Hmm, we don't have the map here yet. Hmm, I see. We're actually crossing from one zone to another. Hmm. Yeah, there's a bridge here. Mm -hmm. I was gonna make a raft, but I think it's just easier to cross the bridge. Killed that fox. Get some more meat. I think what we should probably be doing is looking for a horse. So that's kind of what I want to do. So let's see if we can find some horses grazing out here in the fields. I'm trying to figure out how to crouch. I don't know why I can't remember how to do this. I've pressed every button on the controller. How do you crouch down? Pressing every button on the controller. That jumps. A does nothing unless you're at... B. Yeah, that does that. That does that. That does that. that, does that. Yeah. Nothing crouches. There we are. All right, so if you have to put your shield out first, and then you can crouch. Here's, uh... There's a horse hanging out here in the bushes. There we are. Yikes. So I'm going to head towards the... Oh, darn it. 
I didn't mean to jump off. So now where? I want to head towards the smoke. Let's just heal a little bit here. I wasn't quite expecting a moblin on a horse to show up. All right, come on, boy. Head towards the stables. Yes, good boy or girl. We're almost there. We're almost there. We're almost there. Keep going. Go, 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 go. All right, so we got one. Oh shoot! No mount. There we are. Link, welcome to our stable. If you catch a wild horse and bring it here, you can register it. Understood. Your horse will be in good hands. You sure you want to register? Yes. Normally, when you register a horse, we charge twenty rupees, but we've got a special promotion going on right now so you can register your first horse for free since you're registering a new horse we'll add one point to your pony points <laughs> thank you oh it looks like you've got some points saved up blank if you want to get your reward step up to the side counter where i keep the ledger then call f me over well then i'll move on to the registration process please enter a name for your horse what should we name her or him Hmm. Gray. Name registered. Do you want to take it with you or board it? Um, I'll take the horse for now. That concludes the registration process. By saving up your pony points, you can get exclusive perks. For instance, you can change your horse's gear, its saddle and so forth, or restyle its mane. Speaking of which, do you know about whistling? If you get separated from your horse, you can whistle and it will come running. So there we are. So now, if we're out in the field, we should be able to call our horse, I hope. But your horse isn't magic. It can't hear you if you're too far away, so do keep that in mind. Come back again anytime. Alright, so now that we have a horse... We are going to use this to move towards the beacon. It should go faster. There we are. Come on, girl. Rebene Bridge. Caves are really dangerous. It's finding bubble gems even worth it. What? You got your hands on a bubble gem. You had the courage to not only go in a cave, but to face down a strange creature? You're a brave one, that's for sure. If you manage to get your hands on a bubble gem, you should try to find those two oddballs at Woodland Stables in Elden to the northeast. Yeah, we already talked to you. I think it was a mystic robe or something like that. They talked about that rare treasure. Yeah, it might not be a bad ad idea to go see them. Northeast from here, huh? I would like to do that. That sounds fun. But... I think for now we'll just head towards the beacon. Come on, horsey.
Oh, it's this one is always going the wrong direction. I'll try and keep it on track a little bit. Let's go here. Right, we're heading right towards it, according to this. Whoa! Didn't have to do that. There we go. Come on, Gray. Go that way. Go that way. Was this water? Darn. We'll go this way. Robots. I'm gonna avoid them if I can. Hopefully, we can outrun them. So it looks like we're heading towards that tower there. Yeah. We're running right through some monsters here. Huh. Yeah, we're not doing this very stealthy, that's for sure. What do we got here? So this is definitely where we're supposed to be. Hyrule Castle Ruin Town. Alright. Stop. Thank you, horsey. Good horsey. So. Here's some people down here. Hey, guys. What's going on here? Ivan Pura's stumped. It's hard to believe these ruins just fell from the sky. I mean, they're from the Age of Legends, and now they're here. It's also strange, huh? Yeah, it sure is. But it's also a great opportunity. All of us on the Zonai survey team should count ourselves lucky. If it weren't for the upheaval, this never would have happened. Not that anyone knows what the upheaval even is. Mm. Well, Pura's looking into it. She's holed up in her research lab, inside the fort, trying to make sense of things. She figures if she better understands the upheaval, she'll find some sort of lead on the princess. But so far nothing. Uh... Is the princess alright? Wherever she is. These ruins here are exceptional. But really, who cares about that at a time like this? Hmm... This looks like Lookout Landing. Lookout Landing. Oh. There's a little bridge over here. So this is where the beacon is. Pose. Arrows, Z Zonite. This is like a store, I guess. Oh, what a pleasant evening. Hey, hey, you, where have you been? Robbie, head of Pura ba Pad Development. Don't answer that. Tell me later. For now, you should hurry and go talk to Pura. She's been in a tizzy ever since you and the princess disappeared. She's in the building with the telescope. Up on the second floor. Go see her and give her some peace of mind, will ya? <laughs> so those balloon things that fell from the sky are called Zonai devices. There's still so much we don't know about them. But trust my boss, Pura to take a thing we know so little about and turn it into something useful. She's the sharpest person in Hyrule. A creative genius. I can't wait to meet her. 
Where is the telescope? Ah. Sorry, but I've got my hands full right now. If it's building materials or after, I suggest you start by cutting down, uh, cutting a tree down. After that, hey, hold on. Ah. I thought that might be you, Link. Wow, what a relief. You're safe. I was seriously worried about you. Where have you been? Anyway, uh, sorry, just relieved your back. So, you know Pura's here, right? You gotta see her right away if you haven't yet. But wow, I can't even tell you how happy I am to see you here at Lookout Landing. Oh, the, here, this is the telescope, so she's in here somewhere. Doc looks busy, hmm? What? That hair, those eyes, the the Doc? Oh. Dr. Pura, the swordsman, the swordsman has returned. Interesting. Phew. One step at a time. What exactly happened? Head of Lookout Landing, Pura. So when you and Princess Zelda go beneath Hyrule Castle, you discover a mysterious mummy, which suddenly reanimates. Then Zelda falls into a fissure and vanishes. That must have been when the castle rose and the ruins fell. Then, later, you wake up on a sky island, saved by the arm that was stuck to the mummy. You get the Pura Pad from an unusual creature, and learn that your new arm belonged to someone named Rava. The Master Sword disappears. You hear the princess's voice, and find your way here. Then? Are you saying you came from up there? This Raru you met. I think that's what the first king of Hyrule was named. Hmm. Are they one and the same? So much of this doesn't make sense, yet. But I'm certain that mummy you found under the castle must be related to the upheaval. Hmm. The castle rising up, the ruins falling down from the sky. The mummy must be connected to it somehow. Ah. And then there's the most important detail of all. You're sure that you heard the princess speak of you. And she gave you a clear message to find her. If that truly was the princess, then that means she's alive. Maybe she's trapped beneath the castle and needs help. Mm -hmm. That settles it. I know you only just returned, Link. But I need you to meet with the search party up by Hyrule Castle. They've been searching tirelessly for you two. The captain in charge of the search is named Hawes. Work with him to find the princess as quickly as you can. Yes. I know that mummy may be... I know that mummy may still be lurking somewhere around here. Which is concerning, to say the least. But 
we have more immediate problems to deal with right now. I'm counting on you, Linky. Pura, head of Lookout Landing, the highest authority on ancient technology. She has served Princess Zelda's family for much of her life and has worked with the princess to research the Zonai civilization. Most recently, they started an investigation into the outbreak of gloom. She has used herself as a test subject in her experiments. Despite being over a century in age, she reversed her aging to the extreme and actually looked like a child not too long ago. So now we have a new objective. Crisis at Hyrule. This is the one that we were just given. Mm -hmm. So it's in this same zone. I wonder how we get the maps for these places. Hmm, still haven't gotten a map here. Hmm. Well... We have a new objective now, but I kind of wanted to head towards Kokiri Village, actually. We got a little tip of where that is. Right over there. That's Kokiri Village, apparently. Let's take a look at our map and see how far away that is. Oh, that's way over there. So we can go to Kakiri Village. Or we can head to this one to continue to look for Zelda. have in here? Nothing. Well. Mm. Well, I didn't think we'd gone very far from the horse, but... Well, okay, let's head to the marker. Let's just do what we're supposed to do. I'm sure the story will take us to Kokiri very soon. So we're entering the Hyrule Castle Town Ruins. Mm. Something very familiar about all this, but... All right. The horse is acting up. I guess it's spooked. I'm just going to leave it. I'm going to head over to the shrine and and do that. Yeah, this place was infested with those guardians, I think, in the first game. It was a really dangerous place. Here it's just sort of a ghost town. I think I just saw a mushroom. Yes. Kianonis Shrine. Combat training. Ugh. 
Hyanona Shrine. Well, we didn't do very well at the last combat training. That's where we had trouble figuring out how to actually throw something. I still haven't figured that out, but... Let's see how we do with this guy. This shrine purifies the ancient evil. You who have entered here, heed my instruction. Use a side hop to avoid enemy attacks. This will create an opening that you can use to strike back. Do a backflip to avoid enemy attacks and create an opening to strike back. You can repel an attack if you parry with your shield. Or... Yeah, parry. There we are. I think that's what we wanted to do. Something like that. Build up your power and then release it to unleash a charge attack. Catch your enemy in the motion. Press and hold Y. There we are. Collect all those parts. So we did pretty well there. The mastery of these techniques has earned you access. Proceed within. So that was a basic one. Looks like there's also a little bonus thing. Little bonus chest. A Zonite sword. All right. So there was a person right outside here. Whoa, was that opening there before? How could I have missed it? Huh? Uh, what is it? We're close to the chasm here, so it's dangerous, you know. For all I know, the shrine could be dangerous too. My point is, lots of things are dangerous even ever since the upheaval. So be careful, okay? Chasm? More like chasms, you know. The creepy openings in the ground ever since the upheaval. They're all over. In this area, they're beneath Hyrule Castle and to the south of Lookout Landing. 
I heard that members from the research team went rooting around in some and ended up in a bad way. It's best to steer clear. I'm glad I'm researching shrines and not the chasms. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the shrines, huh? You mean, uh, like the one right here? When the shrines appeared, it caused such a commotion that they landed in the newspaper. Mysterious shrines all appear all over the world overnight. Was smack on the front page, you know. So far, we know they're from the Age of Legends. But did they fall from the sky or emerge from the ground? And just what are they, anyway? Ah. Aside from the shrines, we've also got the chasms, of course. To tell you the truth, we don't know squat about all of the things that sprung up due to the upheaval. But the shrines and chasms? They could be dangerous. Which would be scary, so we need to investigate them, pronto. <laughs> the people from the search party are putting in long hours at Hyrule Castle, so I intend to do the same. Let's head towards the gates. Who do we have here, huh? Link, is that really you? When did you get out from the castle? I'm so ashamed. I've been on watch duty here this whole time, and I didn't see you at all. Mm. I've really got to get serious about my training. Captain Hawes doesn't know that you're back, does he, Link? You should report to him right away. He's on the gate tower at the top of the hill, past the lower gates. Mm. I'm sure the captain will be just as surprised to see you as I was. I'm on my way. I am on my way. General Hawes, was it? We'll find him. We are heading the right way. This is a beautiful, gigantic door. Oh. <laughs> I just thought I'd be able to open that. There we are. Huh? Who's there? Uh. Hey, this area is off limits while we conduct our search for Princess Zelda. And Link, you can't just come wandering in here like that. Ooh. Link, it's you. I'm sorry, I had no idea that you had returned. Wait, if you're back, then does that mean we don't need to s the search party anymore? Huh? You should go talk to Captain Hawes. He's leading search efforts here from the first gatehouse up ahead. You'll find it at the very end of this road. Thank you, soldier. Onward we go. Let's see, we are getting close to the beacon here. I'm going to keep on following this road. Looks like we're getting close. This might be it, huh? Look, a little yellow dot is getting closer and closer. Who do we have here? Is this Captain Hawes? Oh? No, Shars. Link. No, it can't be him. I can't allow anyone past here. Oh. This area is restricted only to those involved in the search for Princess Zelda. This is by direct order of Captain Hawes. If you insist on passing, you'll need permission from the captain. He should be in the first gatehouse up at the end of the road. So I can't go in here? No, I can't. You're not permitted in there. Oh. Alright, let's go find Captain Hawes. Sounds like he's up here somewhere. Are you Captain Hawes? Ah. Utus, we've turned up nothing in here. That would help us find the princess, unfortunately. Huh? You're the, the spitting image of Link. I bet if Captain Hawes saw you, he'd be so startled he might even fall off the gatehouse over there. Traveler shield. But I can't Equip it.
He must be up here. Captain Hobbs, this is a very elusive fellow. He's too busy, I guess. Oh. Wingo, did you come up here to help look for Princess Zelda too? Yeah, me and a few others had the same idea. We all owe a great deal to the princess. We were hoping to help anyway, but the captain is way up on top of the gatehouse there. It doesn't look like he's coming down anytime soon. We just showed up without being asked, so uh, best to stay out of the way until we can help somehow. Captain Haas. First gatehouse, Hyrule Field. Perpin. Just like I thought, the weapons here have all decayed too. I wonder if there are any intact weapons left anywhere in the world. What about the weapons? Hey, it's a new face. During the upheaval, all the weapons, swords, spears, claymores, you name it, suddenly decayed. I've explored many regions in search of weapons that might still be intact. I found none. At this point, I'd be surprised if they were... If there were any intact weapons left in Hyrule. Mm. They're also a real pain to repair, so the best thing to do is strengthen them. Hmm. It's a little bed here. wonder if we can rest here. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess I won't take those decaying weapons. Here's a torch. Could have used one of those earlier, but... Let's throw that away for now. So where's this captain, huh? I thought I heard he was in here somewhere. Is he up there? Let's see if we can climb a little bit. See if this captain is up here somewhere. I think he... I have a feeling he is. So now we're up here. Who are you? Sutu. Sawtu, I finished up the search around here, and I'm ready for my next instructions. But Captain Hawes is, uh, kind of on edge. I don't want to bother him. Hmm. Hawes, sorry, but I'm in the middle of something. Huh? Mm -hmm. Link, is that you? You're alive. And all in one piece, I looks like. Does that mean Princess Zelda is safe too? What a relief. Hmm? Hang on, you're alone? But you heard the princess calling out to you, and you're here to help with the search. I see. Uh, maybe I don't... I'm a little confused, but that doesn't matter right now. What matters is continuing our search for Princess Zelda. Hmm. I am relieved to see you come up here and help us out though we needed some good news the sheer amount of gloom has gotten overwhelming our work carries on but we've been a bit dead in the water <laughs> captain it's princess zelda hmm? princess zelda she's safe Mm -hmm. 
Wait, what? You saw that too, Link? You saw Princess Zelda turn into light and fly off, right? How strange. This, this is an emergency situation. Mm. Why would she leave without saying a word to us? We need to let Pura know about this as soon as possible. Considering that we just... Considering what we just witnessed, I think it makes sense for us to withdraw, but it will take a bit. Please, you must tell Pura about what happened here as soon as possible. Mm -hmm. And who is this other? So we got a new... I'm assuming that we're going to... That takes us back now. Yeah, that's just taking us back. Who's this guy? Torin. Oh? Princess Zelda dissipated into light. I don't understand. Oh. That was most certainly Princess Zelda. Hmm. Alright, well, we'll head back then to Pura. We can get halfway there by traveling to here. There's a good girl. Alright, let's head back to... Uh, what's her name? Pura? Purma? Ugh. So there we go. We're starting to get the hang of this. I think I'll get off. Whoops! Oh! <laughs> Sorry, Gray. Yikes. <laughs> Animal cruelty here. Yikes. Now she was right up here. Oh, that poor horse. Went right in the... Right in the drink. Pura. Link, well, did you find anything? You're telling me Princess Zelda was at the castle and then she transformed into light and flew off? I've got to say, your stories are always so wild. But if you're telling me that's what you saw, then I've got to believe it. Sounds like we need to change our approach. Since the princess flew off, maybe we should redirect our efforts and dig into the upheaval. For now, at least. I've already got a few regions in mind to start exploring. I bet we'll pick up clues about where she flew off to as we look around. Oh yeah, you've still got the Pura pad, right? Can I see it for a sec? It's a little worse for wear, but seems to be functioning fine. Map, 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 aha. Oh right, I forgot that before we can look at the your overall map of Hyrule, we need to add map data from right around Lookout Landing. And for that, we need our Sky View Tower. Josha, what's the status of the Sky View Tower right now? <laughs> Let me see. Outwardly, the structure looks to be complete. Oh, but the travel point is still undergoing final adjustments. Hmm. The travel point needs tweaking. Sounds like I better get cracking. Mm -hmm. Sorry about this, Linky. I'll fix it up quick, so just hang tight. In the meantime, why don't you rest up? You must be pretty tired. 
The emergency shelter is just the spot for you. It has free beds and a kitchen, so it's well stocked for getting some rest and rejuvenating yourself. If you want more info, talk to the soldier who's watching over everything from the center, right where the emergency shelter entrance is. If you need clothing for your travels, mm -hmm. you should go to Moops's shop. I'll be over by our Skyview Tower, so when you're ready to head out, just let me know. Yeah. yeah. All right, Josha. Let's work on our final preparations for the tower. I'll handle the travel yeah. point. Yeah. Josha, you're in charge of the switch. Woohoo! Okay, Doc. You can count on me. So let's check out those two things that she just told us about. I'll go to the store first. So over here, let's see if there's any clothing that we can pick up that... Whoops! No, don't climb. Let's see. So we got some people here hanging out. It's so great. It's just so great. This Hillian Armor series has caught your eye too. The design is so cool, and it fits like a glove. It's popular with travelers, too, which means it's a must for adventuring. Oi. Hey, welcome! It's your first time at my store, right? It's the only place to shop here in Lookout Landing. I know it looks a little thrown together. But I stock a nice selection of goods. I ran a store back in my hometown. So I hope you're, you'll support my place here. So what about these items here? So we don't have a lot of money here. 130, 120, and 70. So it's $320 is what we need to buy this set. And I would like to buy this. So 320, we'll have to get that. Maybe there's a, maybe Beetleman is around here. I don't know. We could probably sell some stuff that we have, but We'll have to come back. Yeah, let's just head to the center of town. And talk to this guy. Glad to have you back, Link. My name is Scorpus. I have been charged with managing Lookout Landing. If you have any questions about the place, any at all, come right to me. I will answer as best I can. Now please, allow me to open up the emergency shelter. Hey, it's me. Open up. Ah. This underground vault used to be an emergency shelter for the royal family. Now we're making constant use of it. Feel free to make yourself at home in our vault. Use any equipment you want. Thank you. Link, welcome, welcome. Call me Monty. You will find me employed as the gatekeeper of this fine establishment. This is the emergency shelter where all are welcome. Please stay as long as you like. Hi. Thank you. Look at all this dust. Hey, I know that face. This is Jaren, and any face I know is the face of a friend. Please, Link, help yourself to you. Help yourself to anything in this shelter. It's all yours to use as you see fit. But don't you dare go making a mess of this place and kicking up dust. I spend so much time cleaning in here, and there's still endless amounts of dust. Where does all this dust even come from, anyways? Dust. Remnants from the Zonai civilization have started popping up all over. This calls for the Zonai survey team. Well, it should call for that, but instead, they've got me hanging out here until further notice. I even spent loads of hours memorizing everything in the Zonai sur survey team book over there. Guess the best thing to do now is to stay on top of the news in each region. So I'm even more prepared when the call comes. 
Freezing temperatures bring feathery shivers to Rito. The Rito are all over the newspaper lately. They live out in the Hebra region, if I recall. It's in the snowfields of northwest Hyrule. Some surveyors grouse about going there because of how cold it is when all they need to do is bring proper gear and supplies for cold resistance and go to the Rito Inn to sleep on a luxurious fluffy down bed. Mm. Ah, I know it's important to be on standby here, but I wish they'd send me out on a survey already. Mm. Wentzworth. It's the same Hyrulean script, and yet it's so different from our modern language. I still have a lot to learn. Hmm. Mm? Don't tell me, based on your stature, physique, and distinctive right arm, you must be Link, am I right? Pura has told me so much about you. I'm Wentzworth. I'm Wartsworth. My research specialty is Ancient Hyrulean. Mm. And by Ancient Hyrulean, I don't mean the text found in the Ring Ruins, but something different. It's what we call the language used at the time of Hyrule's founding. Our modern language is built on that mm. foundation. These books here are written in that ancient light tongue. They'd look like gibberish to your average Hyrulean. Are you curious about ancient Hyruleans? I don't have anything to show you as things mm. stand now, but I'm sure I'll someday have results posted and ready for all to see at the lab in Kakariko Village. Oh. Bermano, hey, are you new here? You may scoff, but I know a fresh face when I see one. I can say that because I'm a newcomer, too. My name's Bermano, and they put me in charge of cooking for some reason. I want to say something fancy, like for today's menu, we have a fruit and mushroom mix. That should rev you right up. Uh... Yeah, I was really looking forward to saying that, but I'm plum out of apples. If I don't have my most important ingredient, say goodbye to rich, full flavor. Hmm. My nose is detecting an aroma, a sweet, tangy, pleasant aroma. Could it be? Do you have an apple? Yes, I think I have some apples. Wow, you're really generous. I'm giving you first crack at some grub. Hold on a sec. I'm calling it Bermano's Special Fruit and Mushroom Mix. Looks tasty, doesn't it? This dish contrasts the sweetness of fruit with the savoriness of mushrooms. I like to make a big deal out of it, but anyone can make it. All you need is an apple, a mushroom, and a pot. You should try making some. Thank you very much. Hey guys, so we had a little bit of a computer error, and I actually lost the end of the episode, but uh, there's not much more. I was just playing and recording the 12th episode, but I started editing the 6th episode and realized that the ending was, was gone, which included lighting up the tower, and we got an amazing gift as well, I believe, around the same time, but I can at least show the same animation. So this is what happens. Came over, opened this up for us, we examined it. And up into the sky we go, and just like the last game, it sort of opens up the map, but it kind of does it in a different way here. So this is where, basically, yeah, he'd come up and then he scanned the land with his... Uh, pad, Pura pad. And that's how we got the map. So there you are. A little preview of what's to come there. Yeah. But the other thing that we got from this was this, the glider, which we can now use to get all over the world. Let's head back to town, though. And here we are, back in town, safe and sound. There we are.
yeah, so that's going to be everything for today. So I'll, I'll look completely different at the beginning of the next episode. We'll be right back. But Oh, well, those computer errors happened. I lost that video, but there it is. They use the same sort of animation when we light up the other towers as well. So you'll be able to see sort of, you know, what it looks like to see Link looking over the land and scanning things with his little iPad thing. <laughs> Yeah, but that's going to be everything for today. So thank you everybody for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking down below. I'm Oko, and I'll see you guys all on the next episode of our playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a good one. Bye for now.